We're gonna sit down and kind of have a casual chat today. I've been in South Korea for about three months, so I feel like I've been here long enough to speak on this topic. Don't mind the coos and everything in the background. My daughter is wandering around, doing her thing, and if I wait till the perfect moment to sit down and film, I'm telling you, it'll never happen, so... <laughs> Here she is with a picture of her dad and I because he's currently at school so she misses him and she likes to walk around with photographs which is <laughs> yeah it's so cute. Oh. <laughs> Do that face again. <laughs> Let's get into the video because I'm going way off topic. I have the notes in my phone because even though like I said I've been here a couple months number one I'm not going to remember everything off the top of my head. Number two <laughs> I feel like I definitely haven't seen everything yet because we're going to be here a total of two years and we've only been here a few months so the first thing that probably one of the bigger ones that's just really weird to me it's not like a bad thing it's just really different is that there's really no police cars patrolling the streets now there are police cars definitely and they keep their lights on 24 7 so they don't like turn their lights on whenever you're getting pulled over they just drive around with their lights on but you don't really see that because it's not really like a thing for cops to drive around they do have cctv which are cameras everywhere throughout the country basically what happens is the police sit in these little booths and these bus that i would compare to like a greyhound but they're not like for transportation or anything for the public they just say police on the side basically like a huge police car you know and they just sit in there and they watch the cameras and patrol that way and there's also like lights like police lights on like dangerous turns and stuff on the highway if that makes sense or like near what i think are little police stations i don't know because i can't read the signs it's just really weird like the system is just completely completely different um, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. I mean, it's just not what I'm used to. I definitely don't understand it well enough to determine if it's the best system or not. I'm not saying America's system is very good. And actually, like, I feel quite comfortable here in Korea. Much more comfortable than I ever did in the States. So, I guess that kind of tells you a little bit, I guess. Let's get into this one because this is another huge thing. That I still, I don't think I would ever get used to it. I don't think I would ever be able to get past this part if I were to try and live here forever. And that is the pollution. Guys, there are some days where you can't even see the sky at all. Not because it's cloudy, but because the pollution is so bad. The pollution is so bad that like, it's just, like, you walk outside and it just smells, I'm trying to think of how to describe it because it's just a smell I have never smelled before in my life. I would almost say it's like, like sewer mixed with like, when you walk past a farm, mixed with like exhaust, mixed with like something rotting or dying. Those aren't the worst days. they are actually days when you walk outside and you don't really smell anything. I don't know if it's because I'm getting more used to the air, so I just don't smell it as much now. But the air pollution definitely depends on the time of day and the day because there are some days when the air quality is just really nice. And there are some days where you're actually not supposed to go outside at all unless you have to. And you're recommended to run an air purifier on those days. So definitely different than when I was in the US. Well, I was in Kansas, so. I'm sure it's much different if you live in like New York City or Chicago or somewhere like that. But even during those times, like when I've been to Chicago or downtown Kansas City, I've never smelled the air like that. Another thing is a lot of people will like just do like a slight like bow when greeting you or saying bye to you. Not everyone does it. I've noticed it's more older generation Koreans, so people around our age, they don't. They do, but it's just not as common with younger people. And another thing is handing things to people with two hands. So if you're paying for something and you're handing your debit card to somebody, you would hand it to them like this and not like this. It's just a sign of respect. Um, 
I don't know like exactly the story behind it or anything. That's all I know. Like when I got here, I was told like, hey, this is one of the things that you should do is hand things with two hands. And another thing is breastfeeding in public. Like you can do it. Um, I breastfed her in public. I try to be much more modest here though than I was back home. Back home, I would just feed her wherever and she didn't like a cover. So I would even fight with her. And anyone who had been a breastfeeding mom understands exactly what I'm saying. Like, uh, back home, the other day we went to the lake and she was really thirsty. And the car was insanely hot because it was just sitting in the parking lot on a hot day in the middle of summer. Like, so I just fed her. Like, I was behind her car seat, but I just fed her. Here, I definitely don't do that. Like, there are a lot of nursing rooms, so that's a huge blessing. I don't really have to worry about, like, finding where to go feed her because they provide those kind of places. So, yeah. I mean, it's a little different, but I guess it's, like, not that bad. It's a little inconvenient, but, I mean, I'm a foreigner in this country, so I have the respect. The, I don't know if customs is the right word, but just the way that things are. Oh, the next thing is healthy food is much easier to get your hands on here. There's not really a culture on fast food. I don't want to say that too strongly because there are McDonald's and stuff, but it's definitely not like in the States where you turn and there's a fast food on every corner. There's a lot of like family owned restaurants. There's a lot, a lot of, lot of coffee shops. Um, and then there are McDonald's, but they definitely aren't as common and they're closer to like the apartment cities which i'll kind of get into in the next thing so yeah like when i go to the mall here and i've been to multiple ones the food courts offer a lot of healthy options and i've never seen a fast food option inside of a mall now there are like um like small like chain like family owned like dessert places and cafes and stuff in the malls but i've never seen the mcdonald's or taco bell i mean I'm not saying like they have Taco Bell here, but I've never seen the fast food options in a mall at all. Most of it is Korean places that serve a lot of like rice and kimchi and fresh fish, uh, sushi, Indian food, their version of Mexican food. Just a lot of like different cultural stuff, so that's really cool. I definitely like the food courts here a lot better. And so the next thing is like they have apartment cities. I'm sorry, my mascara is just really dry and it's just bugging me if I keep blinking weird. But they have these things called apartment cities, so because the country is so small and there's quite a bit of people here, what they do is they have like lots of fields for like the farming industry and everything. And then I'm going to try to find a picture because I don't think I'm going to be able to describe this very well, but it'll be like a small area with... A lot of like very 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 tall apartment complexes and it'll all just be condensed in one little area and then around it there'll be a lot of like shops and gas stations and grocery stores and like little cafes and stuff so it would be like a downtown but it's in a very small area and it's just apartments and then you know things for people to like go get gas um, look at groceries, go get whatever they need in just a very small area. But it's not a city city, it's just for apartments and like little stores that people need. I don't, I can't think of a way to explain it, so I'm gonna try and set a picture. And that gets me into my next thing. Parking lots, not really a thing here. What they do have though is parking garages. I actually really like the way they do a lot of things here. Like parking garages, for example, are a really 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 big thing like you don't really see a parking lot and that saves up a lot of space which is really cool because they have so many things to do and like so many like places for people to live and stuff but also preserving more space more land to be reserved for animals and farming and so forth and also like along the highways there are these very very tall walls to keep animals from going into the highway which is really smart if you think about it i mean i think that americans can take a lot of notes from koreans also recycling is a really big thing here don't just throw your trash away you better recycle because they actually care about the environment here which i really admire i have not been catcalled once since i've been here 
I mean, you could say, well, you don't know the language, which is true, but women know when we're being catcalled or followed or just creeped on. And I have felt really safe here. I've actually been running at night a few times. I know, like, it just felt so freeing and I didn't have that feeling of fear in my body when I was out. I feel safe going out alone with her in public. The scariest part is like <laughs> getting lost, but I mean, it's really not that bad because I have GPS and I have Google Translate and I'm always able to figure it out. Sometimes it takes me all day to find something just because I don't know the language and I have to like pull over and try to translate things and figure things out. But that's honestly my biggest struggle is just the language barrier, honestly. And then the road system is a little bit different. Not too different, just enough to like confuse you, especially if you don't know what all the signs say. Another thing is people are really polished in public here. You don't really get the people of Walmart experience here at all. Most people go in public and they're very business casual. Not everybody obviously, especially people of poverty who can't afford those kind of clothes, but even those people you can tell that they put an effort to taking care of themselves and that they care about being presentable even if they don't like wear expensive things if that makes sense um people just overall seem to care about the presentation of things more including themselves um like their stores and their streets like you don't really see litter it does happen there are places um and villages where there's a lot of poverty there definitely is a lot of trash but it seems to me that overall, as a whole, the country makes more of an effort to just keep things polished and clean. And that definitely includes the way that they look. Um, everybody usually, like, I don't really see people just t-shirts and sweats. It happens, but it's, like, more put together, done on purpose kind of thing, if that makes sense. Um, that's really all that I have for this video. That's all I can really think of. I'm sure there's a lot more that I'm missing and I'm sure there's a lot more things that I'm going to discover and realize. Actually, as I'm saying that, I did think of another thing. These people are very active. Much, much, much more active than Americans as a whole. There are tons of outdoor gyms and any time that we've ever been hiking, there's always a lot of people on the trail with us. We've never been hiking and ran into not that many people it's always packed when you go hiking well i wouldn't say packed but there's always a lot of people out moving around um being active is definitely a very big thing here so i think that's wonderful anyways that's really all for this video i will definitely be making another one like this when i learn what other culture shocks there are here or just interesting things about the country in general give this video a like comment down below share with your friends because it helps me grow my channel and thank you so much for watching